It was the first day of school in Knox County, but it's not only the first day for students. And it's also the first for the new superintendent. New since Jenna Miner stopped by to see how the school year kicked off. School is starting up across the Wabash Valley, but here at South Knox, there's more than just one fresh start. With the new school year comes a new superintendent. <laughs> it may be the first day of school for students at South Knox. It is also the first day for new superintendent Jeff Cochran. So I'm, I'm just really looking forward to being a part of South Knox and getting to know everybody here. And just as Cochran is learning about the students, he wants the community to learn about him. He hopes to see families at school activities. You know, of course, people think about athletics, our fine arts, you know, between band, choir, uh, musicals. Uh, people are going to see me at, at, at those things, and uh, I hope that gives them a chance to uh, to get to know me a little bit better in person. Cochran visited both South Knox Elementary and the middle and high school on the first day. Although he says the summer quickly passed, he wouldn't have wanted it any other way. And the summer just flies by and before you know it, it's second week of August and we're back at it. But everybody then by then in these buildings and in schools really look forward to those first few days of school so the kids are back. Because really that's the motivation for everybody's kids and doing what's best for our kids. To find out when more schools in the Wabash Valley start up, you can visit our website at WTHITV.com. In Knox County, Jenna Miner, News 10. The Vigo County Health Department spent today making